Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you a cute and powerful dog. Dogs are our best friend, maybe even family members. So please follow me as I get to know this adorable and powerful dog. It's Sherman. My name is Elliot, and this is Sherman. Sherman is a male Newfoundland, and these are Canadian water dogs. He is 19 months old. Sherman uh, actually wasn't meant to be mine. He was actually he came from Poland. He was meant to go to a lady in America who was uh, born him. But the lady actually felt poorly and couldn't take him. And I got a phone call saying, would I like to take Sherman instead of him going to the United States? And it was just out of the blue we got the call and he came on Valentine's Day. So every time we remember St. Valentine's Day, February the 14th, which is the day of love, then we have Sherman. Yes, he certainly does. Um, as, as you may be aware, Newfoundlands were bred for water. They were bred to live on Canadian fishing boats and recover nets for fish. And what happened um, throughout, just, just throughout their history, they, their bodies adapted to the water. That's why they have webbed feet like ducks. They are the only dog that swims breaststroke. And they have the waterproof coat. Now Sherman loves water. He's swam since he was 16, 17 weeks old. Um, it, it's just inbred into their DNA to move towards water and go in. He's, he's, he's very gentle, but because he's still a puppy, even though he's size, he can, he can still be a little, a little excited, and he loves to be stroked by children, rubbed by children, but just with his size, sometimes I'll keep hold of him. Just because in case he turns around, because he's so big, in case he bumps a child over. But they are known as the nanny breed, because this was the dog in Peter Pan that looked after the children, and they, they were used as, a, as, a, as, a, as they call a nanny, to look after kids. Yeah, well, what, what we do is with the water, first off, we just allow the dog to, to just stand in the water and just get used to the feeling. Because what you don't want to do at first is, is frighten the dog with anything because they'll never return back to it. So what we do is we just let the dog play just with a ball or with a toy, just getting used to being in the water. And then we move on from there with you, see me being 10 meters out, getting the dog to come to a toy, then come back to the shore. We do that and then we build up from there, step by step by step. So eventually the dog will once it has come to you, it will allow you to take all of them and he will swim you back to the shore. So it's very gentle, very gentle training. Noah Sherman is very, very sociable with every animal. His best friend, strangely, is a cat who lives next door. He'd, uh, he sits in the garden for hours and he loves birds. He'll sit in the garden and with the birds and the pigeons and the trees, he'll just sit and watch them move from tree to tree for hours. He's, he's, a, he's a big sweetheart, he loves every animal. Well, the, the, the two things with these is when, when he's outside, he loves to watch, he's very alert, he likes to watch people, he likes to watch goings on. He will play with other dogs, he will chase, but once he goes home, they become big couch potatoes. They just like to lie about and sleep, lie on the sofa, lie on the floor. So they're, they're kind of two different dogs. At home, they're, they're very lazy, but out and about, they're very, very active and very alert.